Here's an example to highlight the differences between verb 1, tameni, verb 2, and verb 1, yoni, verb 2 in Japanese. Katsu tameni ganbaru, which means I will do my best in order to win, and kateru yoni ganbaru, which means I will do my best in order to be able to win. The first difference is that with tameni, verb 1 must be in the positive present tense dictionary form and must express the speaker's will, which is why katsu is used, which means will win. With yoni, verb 1 can be in the positive and negative present tense dictionary form and cannot express the speaker's will, which is why kateru is used, which means can win. The second difference is that the subjects of both verbs for tameni must be the same and for yoni they can be different. For example, the second sentence could become Senshu ga kateru yoni, kochi ga ganbatte iru which now means the coach is working hard so that the players can win. As you can see, it now has two different subjects. Because verb 1 of tameni expresses the speaker's will and the subjects of both verbs must be the same, tameni emphasizes the speaker's determination to fulfill the purpose more than yoni does. Please follow for more Japanese steps.